Hey, what's up? This is your girl Bright Eyes. I'm here with another tutorial on Stitch Express software. As you can see, I already digitized this font and I already stitched it out right here. You see what it looks like. So what I'm going to do is recreate what I just did using Stitch Express software. So I'm going to open up on a new page and I'm going to click on this icon right here, which is for the font. And I'm going to click inside the hoop. And right here, <clears throat> they only have like three types of fonts you could use. So this is the first one. Well, actually, the third one. Yeah, it's the first one. Um, and this is the other font. And this is cursive. So, the first one I did, I used this font. And I'm going to type in int. Make sure my caps is off. And if it's not working, it is supposed to work here, but if it doesn't work, you could type inside this box and it will come on the screen. And I press apply. Okay, and there it appears. Okay, so right now I changed the color. So over here, you want to select here and you could pick whatever color you want. So I want to recreate what I made. So I'm going to look for pink. Okay, so I think it was this color. So, or maybe it was this color. I'm going to go with a bright color. So I think it was this color, right? So I pick my color and now it's turned off. So that means I cannot adjust it. So I have to put back on the font tool. Now, if I wanted to curve, I would take these dots. These dots allow you to curve, right? So you could play with them. if you want to right so i'm gonna go back and i'm gonna curve the e because that's how i want it right over here it has different styles of stitches that you want to use i'm just gonna stick with um using the satin stitch right here. So now that I finished, I'm gonna click select and I'm gonna move this right here. And now I'm gonna turn on my font tool. I'm gonna click right here and I wanna change a different script I'm going to use cursive and I'm going to type in this square box. You could type inside the hoop. If that doesn't work, type inside the square box and write love. And I'm going to change it to zigzag this time. And I'm going to click apply. Now, I don't like the color, so I'm going to go change it. Let's see if I find that red color. It's a little dark. Ah. I haven't seen the red color that I want. I'm 
you try to get as close as red as possible. If not, it's, it's okay. I think this is the best I could do. Okay, that's the best I could do. And what I'm going to do is I would like it to be, I'm going to curve it on the opposite side by clicking on this picture right here that looks like it's slanted. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click here. And move it you can move it left or right but I'm gonna move it left just like I have in my picture and I'm going to collect click select and I'm gonna stretch it a little bit make it a little bit bigger okay so the last word I'm gonna use is I'm gonna go back click on this font tool click inside the hoop and it's gonna be a different font and I'm gonna type in party And click inside the box there. P A R T Y. Click enter. Oh, I made a mistake. Go back because it's gonna make it bigger. I'll show you once I apply. And I'm gonna change the texture to, let's see, brick wall, right? And I'm going to click apply. Okay, so that's what happens if you don't go back. Because I press return, it gave it bigger. So I'm going to click here. And I'm going to click the back backspace button. And I'm going to click apply. And it fixed that situation. Right? Okay, so with this one, I'm going to click select, and I need to move it out the way. Move it, and now I'm going to click back to font, right? So these little blue squares, you could move your letters. Right. Click on the blue squares, you can move your letters apart or give it space if you want to so with this one I'm going to click on this le this Y letter now allow me okay let me move it apart and I want it to like Turn over this way and I think I'll make it a little bigger right and I'm gonna move this T and I'm gonna make it a little bit tall And you know what? I want to change the color. So let's pick green. Okay. So what this one is, you saw what happened. 
when you pick, I don't know why it does that, but when you pick the color, it's going to revert it back to what it was. So what I suggest is to already pick the color first and then do the adjustments because it's going to go back to what it was. So I'm going to pick my colors first now. And then I'm going to make adjustments. I'm going to click on the 8 button, I mean letter, click on 8, and make it purple, and the last one. Okay, so now that I already picked my color, I'm going to take the Y and I'm just going to curve it to the right, make it a little bit longer. Take the T, move it. Make it a little bit taller. Take the R, curve it a little bit, take the A, move it, and take the P, and make it large. And go back and go okay. I just want to fix this part with love. Just move it a little bit. Okay, that's better. I'm going to select all and I'm going to want to center it. I'm going to go arrange and click on center. Okay. So that is it for the font tutorial. And is I tried my best to get it as close as I have. So this is what it looks like. So I got it pretty close. So I hope that was helpful how to do the fonts in Stitch Express. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe and like to help 
the algorithm. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.